So anyway, to just kind of guide you around the program, um, if you'll take a look at the screen here, there are two main views that you normally work in inside of Sonar. The first is the track view. I actually just start audio playing back here. So from the track view, you can see a basic overview of all of your tracks, all of your waveforms. Um, if you're working with a MIDI track, You can also see that in Sonar 5, we've integrated MIDI editing directly into the track view. So if I jump forward here to the section where there's MIDI. So for example, on this track, I have uh, a MIDI track controlling a virtual instrument inside of Sonar. You can see I can actually draw in MIDI nodes directly into the track, so better integrated MIDI editing. If I want to expand this view, I can see a larger MIDI editing view uh, by going to the piano roll view. Another important thing about uh, the way that Sonar 5 works and the interface improvements is I can now dock um, windows like the piano roll view or uh, even my effects windows or my virtual instrument windows into uh, part of the screen down here in the corner. And then I can tab between these different views very easily. Some of the other great features uh, that are new in the track view, we've improved the envelope drawing in Sonar 5. So if I take this guitar part, for example, if I want to draw in some sort of automation uh, on an effect or on a track parameter, in this case, we'll keep it simple. We'll do something like uh, a volume envelope. So I'm going to right click and add some volume automation to this track. So that's what this blue line is here. If I go to the Draw tool, we've added this whole uh, list of different waveforms. And I can draw in different waveforms uh, in sync with my project's tempo. So if I say call up a sine wave, this will uh, react uh, dependent on what my snap to grid settings are, are set at. So if I, say, set this to eight notes, now I'm going to click on this, uh, this envelope here. You'll see as I move the cursor up or down from the center point that I started clicking on, it's drawing these points. And when I stop drawing, you'll actually see a waveform appear there. So I've automated a sine wave in sync with the project. And you can adjust the amplitude of that, that wave just by moving up or down with your mouse. So just to draw another one down here. And you can change the rate of that drawing by holding Control or Alt as you're doing it. Sort of a great new editing feature that's uh, built into Sonar. Um, also, from a track organization standpoint, we have uh, some great features like track folders. So if I have a lot of guitar parts, in this project, for example, there's about 10 or 15 guitar parts here. I can uh, group those into a track folder, uh, and then I can hide all of those parts together. It makes it a little bit easier to navigate around my screen. Uh, and also, I can edit those parts together. So we have a, what's called a composite clip. If I expand this a little bit so you can see it better. I can go to this composite clip and actually edit that. And any of the parts um, within that folder, I can then edit directly from this, this composite clip. So if I say split this clip up, I can move uh, and edit parts simultaneously that way. Uh, in Sonar 5, a new feature we've also added is called Quick Groups, which allows you to do some of those editing features even quicker. If I select the corner of a track and roll down to a few other tracks, just see I've done here, I can now move things like the volume or the pan of that track, and all of those, those parts that I've just selected will follow uh, whichever track I'm grabbing. 